G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Uh, again, we have my $1 collection book, and another collection book here, uh, with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. The Aussie Big Things Collectibles came out in 2023, is 10 coin set, with all the big theme park, well, the big themed animals that we have dotted around Australian towns. I have got seven of the ten. I'm missing the big banana, the big Tasmanian devil, and the big swoop. So hopefully we can find some of those in circulation today. And then in my uh, com commemorative collection, I have only failed to find one coin. Well, let me not let me say that I did find one of these in a live stream, but it had a uh, coin counter, got a greet on it, and uh, it can't go in the book. So I've got to find another one, which is going to be very hard. Oh, that hit the camera. Sorry about that. Uh, and then we've got everything up until the 2022, 2021 uh, donation dollar and a, a mob of ruse with the Charles Effigy. We have a whole heap of not intended for circulation coins down here that were either issued through Australia Post or through the Canberra Mint and stuff like that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I am looking for that changeover. Uh, one of my compatriots, uh, the Coins Cards Collect channel, he found one in the last week. I was very jealous of him. Uh, although I do have heaps, I'm just trying to find it for the book. So I can only put it in the book if I find it in the hunt. So let's get into these coins. Got uh, $240 worth of $1 coins in $20 rolls. The rolls uh, come from Armagard through the bank. And so I will be looking through those. This is our first coin and cab off the rank. It's the Centenary of Scouting. This is a commemorative coin from 2008. And with the commemorative coins, if they're common, I'll put them up the top row. If they're keepers, I'll put them down the bottom row. There we have the Mob of Roos. That's the standard $1 coin design. $1 coin was issued for the first time in 1984. And, yep, I'll be looking through all of these coins front and back uh, to look for the changeover coin because the changeover coin's commemorative design is on the obverse, not just on the uh, reverse. It'll have a Mob of Roos on it. And so I'll be going through the coins front and back and only do that when I get down to uh, only one, finding one coin, the changeover. Um, because you can miss the changeover if you just flick through them on the reverses. So there we have another Centenary of Scouting, our second commemorative coin. And then we have a very, very dirty International, sorry, Centenary of Federation from 2001. And it looks like it's been under the sea for quite some time. So we'll put that yucky coin down up there. It is a common commemoratives and we'll move on and not think about what's on our fingers and so as we go through the hunt there's a 2000 sorry what 1999 which is the international year of older persons uh, we always check of all of our common commemoratives for rotation errors but that is very common we'll go up on the top row sometimes you find those with slight rotations on them um, they're not technically not worth keeping if it's less than say 11 o'clock or one o'clock this is a centenary of uh, Anzac, the 100 years of Anzac, the spirit lives. It's, this is from 2014. The there was a series of these, they ran 2014 to 2018, the whole of the First World War period uh, centenary. And this one is very highly minted, it'll go up on the top row, but if we find any of the others of the other years, 2015 to 18, we'll be keeping those because they are much lower minted than the 2014. And I keep them for my collection to make sets because they're not that easy to find. And so we're on to the second roll now. Hopefully there's a couple of what look might be shiny coins and we'll have a look and see what they are. Uh, but there we have the second coin down there. The father of Federation, Sir Henry Parks. This coin's from 1996. It's also a common commemorative. It'll go up on the top row. There's another 2014 100 years of Anzac. And then we have a 2005 Dancing Man, the Peace Coin, the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. Whoops, there's a drop C. And that'll go up on the top row, very, very common. Here is a very, very shiny 2016. It's just a common mob of roos, just a lot of those turning up recently with uh, in really good condition, as if they haven't been in circulation yet. Here is the 2002 year of the Outback. Again, another common commemorative. It'll go up on the top row. And there is the 
2001. We'll sort of check that. Because it'll be a centenary of federation for rotation. No, it's just a standard one. I'll go there. Much better than that first one. Oh, and that's a very nice looking 2006. I'll put that aside and see if that will help me with my date run in good condition. There we have 2014. And a 1993 Landcare Australia. One of our first commemorative coins, 1993. Sometimes we look out for those, some of these where there is extra bits of metal where the die has chipped uh, and left errors on the coin. But that one is fine. And on we go through this second roll. There's a 2007, it is the APEC Australia celebrating, well, commemorating the meeting of the APEC Australian Pacific Economic Corporation Forum in 2007. So issued a coin for that, that's fantastic. So there you go, that, as our top row now, we've topped that out, I think. We'll go onto the second row and now we're also onto our third roll. And when I go through all the uh, coins at the end of the hunt, I'll be looking for the years 1987, 89, 1990, 1991, 2007, and 2012. Actually, I won't be looking for them at the end of the hunt. I'm looking for them now. Every time I look, uh, flip over the coin to see the year, I'm looking and seeing if I can find those. There's another dancing man there with a spatter of yuck on it. Um, so I, I look out for those because they... Uh, were mob of roos that were not issued into circulation, only into sets. It's a 2020 coin. At one stage, we were looking for those as they were low minted, but now we know that they are highly minted. They go back to the bank. Oh, that would have been nice, 2016. Here we have the International Year of Volunteers from 2001. It's a not a common commemorative, but it's a commemorative that it's very hard to find in really, really good condition. So. It is going to go back to the bank, but if you can find one of those in really good condition, it's worthwhile to look out for. It's another centenary of federation. No, that's fine. And so after this roll, I'll speed the hunt up, uh, and you will only see when I find something new for today. There's a 2007. And I'll slow down and I will tell you what it is, annotate it on the screen and then we'll move on. But uh, hopefully we can find something good for the book or even for the wider collection, that would be handy. Year of the Outback. So let's speed the hunt up now and I'll come back if we find anything of any note. And there, for the first time today, we see the very first $1 commemorative coin, the International Year of Peace from 1986. Also very common and very hard to find in good condition these days, but keep an eye out for that.
come down for the first time today. We see the Centenary of Girl Guiding from 2010. This one's not in bad nick, actually. Uh, makes a bit of a mini set with the Centenary of Scouting and two years before. Oh, it is still a common commemorative, so it'll go up on the top row as well. Oh, another C Mint Mark Landcare Australia. Wow, that is amazing. There must be a lot of um, Mint Marks back into circulation. I'll show you what I mean by Mint Mark. If we zoom in on the coin, you'll see that the there's a C down there at the bottom of the coin under the word dollar. That means it was minted in Canberra um, at the Royal Australian Mint. It was part of a set or a, a special minting. So C mint mark there. The other one, a normal one, doesn't have it there. It's just plain, which is fantastic. So we found a keeper for today, and we have found one of those in the last sort of month or two. C mint mark land care. That's fantastic. Oh, and another new coin for today. They're making a difference. Australia's volunteers from 2003. This is in very ordinary condition. It's a relatively uh, high mint. Uh, I would usually keep it if it was in good order, uh, but that one's very, very ordinary. So we will move on to all these other coins. Quite a few 2016 coins in a row. Some of them very, very shiny. Be lovely to find a changeover from 2016 in that order as well, but probably not to be. There's a coin from the year 2000. We always check the $2,001 coin for a mule error where there is a double ring on the obverse side because they accidentally used a obverse for the 10 cent piece instead of the $1 and it's slightly smaller. But that one seems to be fine, standard. Uh, and then another couple of really, really nice looking 2016s. I've seen quite a few of those in the last few weeks, hopefully all on camera. And then we go, speed back up. Here we have something here. We have a 2023 coin with a memorial effigy on it, the Queen's portrait. We have $1 in the legend here. So it's gonna be something with, without a denomination on the reverse. What's gonna be? Oh, it's an AFLW Premiership Season Cup. That is a low minted, uh, not circulating or not intended for circulation coin issued with the Royal Australian Mint and Australia Post. It's part of the AFL series. It's a very nice coin, but I have a few of those and there's certainly some in the book, so it won't go in the book, but it'll go into my wider collection because it's a, a lower minted coin. This should be something as well, 2022, quite nice and shiny. Yes, it's a dinosaur coin, so we've had uh, dinosaur coins a little bit in the last little while. This is the Australovenator, the uh, dinosaur uh, endemic to Australia uh, in the fossil record. So very, very nice. 2022 also came out through Australia Post in the dinosaur series that Australia Post and the, the Royal Australian Mint brought out. So a little bit of that happening at the moment. And there for the first time, we see the Sir Charles Kingsford Smith uh, 
celebrating his 100th year since his birth. He was a pioneer aviator uh, of Australia, but very common coin, uh, and so it'll go up on the top row. Another not intended for circulation coin issued through Australia Post. The Australian women's national football team, the Matildas. This is the keeper. This is from the FIFA World Cup, Women's World Cup in 2023 held in Australia New Zealand. Also with the memorial effigy and the $1 denomination there in the legend. So another very nice coin. Again, I have it for the book, so it'll go into the wider collection. Then we have another Matilda's coin, the uh, Strike. And so another 2023 Matilda's coin for the National Women's National Football Team. So fantastic. It'll go down there again, stay in the wider collection, but we already have one of those for the book. Oh, and there's a Charles 2023. We'll just look at that. We don't see them very often. They're only very new. But it is going to be the what well, it is the definitive or the standard mob of ruse. It's just with the new effigy. So I'm going to keep those. I've got a few just in rolls and in flips, but I'm not going to be keeping every one of those that I find. And with that uh, very, very dirty coin, we are on the last roll. We've got a few down the bottom with the keepers. Nothing, unfortunately, for the book, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But we will continue on. There's only just over half a roll to go. Very happy with it, though. The uh, midmark coins are very, very hard to find, honestly. Uh, Although it's probably a couple of books I didn't find any in, but this book seems to quite have quite a few. Whoops. Another Australovenator from the Dinosaur series. That's 
quite nice. And so, yeah, see mint marks. Any mint marks are really, really nice to find. They're very low mintage, really, realistically, compared to the others. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy to find that. And any of these low minted coins that will go into the wider collection. Oh, here we go. Last six coin, last six last coin. We have the 1988 Bicentennial Celebration. It's the first time we've seen that today, so that'll go up on the common commemorative row. And another, here are the Outback. Pretty much could be finishing us off there. Yeah, it looks that way. And so there we have it. We have the hunt for this week. There's quite a few coins there. Uh, that are very nice and we don't need to go through the mob of ruse because as I said um, I was looking through them uh, obverse and reverse so let's just go through the coins that we picked up today we got uh, Matilda's coin the strike uh, 2023 celebrating the FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia New Zealand we have the keeper of the same series and the Matilda's coin there we have two Australovenators from the dinosaur series Australia's dinosaurs that came from Australia Post. Very nice to add to the collection. We got an AFLW, the Australian Football League Women's Premiership Season Cup from 2023. Again, a very, very nice coin, but really the pick of the hunt is a C Mint Mark Land Care Australia from 1993, which makes it a 31 year old coin uh, that's been out there in circulation, possibly not that long, but a very nice coin. All the same, something to really look out for those C mint mark coins in circulation. Thank you very much. That's a great hunt for me today. Uh, am I going to put that one in the book? Probably not because I already have a C mint mark, one of those in the book. Let me drag the book over and we'll go to the last page. There we go. We've already got a C mint mark there next to the Henry Park C mint mark. So, well, there, there is room. Let's whack it in there. We've got, we, we do have a bit of room, a tiny bit of room. Let's put that one in there. So we'll put a bit in there as well. See, two C mint marks. That's actually much better. That one's actually much better than the, the one I found previously. So for, nice, nice. So we have coins in the book, coins for the collection. If you like what I do, think about subscribing. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you have ever found any C mint mark coins in any of your noodling, I'd love to hear what type of uh, mint mark coins you found whether they were the standard uh, design ones like the ones that we always see or if they were those uh, only uh, minted for mint mark circulation or uncirculated collector coins that'd be a great comment to hear but i will be back for more noodling in a few days so i'll see you then bye <laughs>